welcome to Battling with Bourbon! I'm your host, Rockstar, Johnny Nye. It's me, it's me, MDV. I like me, you like me, and I'm gonna help you like you. <laughs> Diamond Dallas Page over here. Today, we got a special taste test Tuesday for you. We got the old granddad, 16 year old. Who the OGD? Yeah, you know me. Coming we got the OGG. This is coming in at Yeah, you proof. know me. And then you got the Knob Creek 18 coming in at 100 proof. Woo! This, this year's, this is batch three. Both of these guys keep it at 100. These are both Beam products, if you're a fan of Beam. Yeah. Uh, now, is Jim Beam the old granddad? I forget who the old granddad is, but the old granddad is a real person. I'm not sure. I don't think so, because I think they bought old granddad from somebody. Okay, he's a dude. Yeah. He's a dude that's playing a dude. <laughs> Disguised as another dude. <laughs> so, which one's the OG? I don't know which one's which. So, I'm going to tell you off camera, he wasn't around. Outside smelled funky as hell. Which one's outside? All right, Mike. That's a good question. That's a good <laughs> Took a bathroom break after I poured these. And now I, uh, I think I know what outside is. I think outside is the old granddad. The outside's like got some amazing funk to it. Like yeah. I'm not gonna lie, the nose on the outside was yeah. A this ten. Is old granddad is outside. <sighs> yeah, this this smells good. Dawson told me to give the Knobs Creek a try. He was at the wrong creek for a second. Yeah, Knob Creek is on the inside. Um, yeah, Knob Creek's got that cherry, that cherry, the traditional Knob Creek cherry. How many years was this one? Would we do a 10 or a 15 or what do we do on this one? That's the 18. Yeah. That's the 18. Okay, cool. I had the 15 here at my house. I, I asked if I should have brought it. And he told me no. And is this batch two or one? Three. Three. This is the one from this, this batch year. three. Let's, uh, let's chew on the old granddad. I'm going to chew on the OGD. Mm -hmm. Cherry funk on the nose for me on the OGD, a uh, little cream. So cherry, cherry funk cream. So I'm a fan of OGD uh, barrel proof. I think it's like it's one four. What is it? One fourteen. Yeah, one fourteen. And that's about four years old. And it's like 28 bucks, less than it's that sometimes. You know, I think that's pretty great for its price point. Uh, and that one has lots of cherry in it, turned up a notch. You know, this being uh, tamed down to 100, I kind of figured this was the profile. Uh, only the profile also kicked up to a lot of leather, a lot of oak, a lot of dryness, um, a lot of cherry. You know, I do, I do like this I a like lot. This, this is, a, I enjoy this thoroughly. The old grand, this, this it's is, winning the Medal of Honor. Look yeah. at this, look at this. It's wearing a Medal of Honor they, right now. They even put it on. <laughs> no, I really like this. I think the old granddad uh, expression. I, I, um, oh, I couldn't wait when I, when I. He didn't it. wait for me. I couldn't wait. Oh, we, I we, was we, like, wait for me, wait for me. We He's like, no. Not today. We hadn't gotten Not together today, in a brother. while, and I was just hankering for opening some things, and I just opened like four things in like two weeks. Yeah, I'm getting blasted with text messages. <laughs> uh, this is one of my favorite things, actually, that I opened, though. Um, I really like this. Um, it's one of the better Beam products in recent history, in my opinion. Cool. I and really this is like the it. same recipe as the Hardens Creek. Yes. So if you guys own a Hardens Creek, you know, uh, same recipe. And the Hardens Creeks are wonderful. Let's, uh, actually, well, the Hardens Creek last year, 2023, three different uh, rivers edition, really was good. my favorite Jim Beam product I've yeah, ever had. Really good. Um, including against Lineage, and I've had Lineage and own Lineage. And I don't know if this is going to compete with um, the Hardens Creeks. It is the same style, and it's but the Hardens Creeks one year older, slightly proofed up. So the nose of the Knob Creek for me, I'm getting some cherry in the beginning. Uh, but then I get a salted peanut. Yeah, it goes it goes to nutty pretty quick. Definitely old. You can tell it's eighteen years old. Mm -hmm. On the palate, you can tell it's Knob Creek. Mm -hmm. 
Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it, um, it definitely goes to this leathery, oaky, it's very oaky, um, very nutty, like a honey roasted peanut. Okay, so I'm getting, I'm getting cinnamon stick. You know, I'm getting a honey cinnamon stick. Okay. Very dry. It is very, you can tell it's really old. And it's very sweet too. It is very sweet. Um, very sweet. Almost, almost too sweet. Yeah, almost too sweet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to move back out to the outside on the OGD. Yeah, the OGD. So I'm, uh, this is peppery. More peppery. The peppery uh, kind of hangs out back there past the sweet. And as the sweet starts to fade, the pepper starts to kick in on you. Oh, and just a, a fact on this is, uh, just so you know the difference in the profiles, this is their high rye mash bill uh, that they make all the old granddads with, the Hardens Creeks, the yeah. Basil Haydens. And I hate the Basil Haydens. Yeah, they're just too light. Um, Great bottle. I wish I loved it. I love the bottle. The I not, hate the liquid inside. The not Never am I paying $75 for a Basil Hayden 10 when you can go to Costco and get a Russell's 10 for $28.99. Yeah, that ain't happening. Uh, the Knob Creek is their standard like bean mash bill. Uh, Knob Creek's beans. Um, is Baker's the same? So Actually, that's a good question. I'm not good, sure. I've been in a trance since nosing this OGD. The OGD is great. I'm not positive. I don't want to speak out of turn, but I'm not positive where the Baker's in lies. But I know this is like the Knob Creek's, the, the standard mash bill, and there's a high rate mash bill. So I think Baker's is this oh OGD. Oh my gosh. This OGD is great. So yeah. I have friends, lots of friends, that I consider bourbon connoisseurs that have been doing this for a while. Most of them told me that this bottle was not worth 200 bucks. I just That this was an $80 bottle of tops. I hands down disagree. I disagree. This is fantastic. I wouldn't take away anything from this bottle. I really I'm like glad it. that they gifted this to us. I really like it. Um, that's one of my favorite bottles that I've had in the last mm -hmm. few months. I really like it. For, for me, it, it definitely wins. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't. Yeah. This, I'm not going to lie. Sweet. I thought we were going to have a disagreement. I thought he was going to pick this one. Because he's not a biggest fan of the 114. Um, but this for sure was the winner for me today. And I'm glad it was a winner for him today as well. Yeah, it is really good. There, it, Yes, could it have been 114 and it have been even better? Maybe. Maybe. But maybe not. I don't right. know. Maybe they... They're maybe too oaky at 114. Maybe they tasted it at 114 yeah. and they're like, nah. I yeah. This is not mm -hmm. good. And yeah. So and some people shit on a hundred proof. This is not a hundred proof to shit on. No, this is really fantastic. Good. And I love how the label looks kind of retro. Yeah, they you did know, a good job. This is a nice homage. Nice homage. You know, Claremont, Kentucky, established in eighteen eighty two. It kind of looks like something that would have been in eighteen eighty two. Got the little metal metal on the neck. You know, fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. I'm impressed with that expression for sure. The knob is good, but it's not great. No, it's it's. I can see why people are leaving it. Sure. You can get it at Costco for one sixty nine. Yeah, and, and I've seen it like so most of the time it's almost two hundred bucks. Um This was also about two hundred bucks. This is two hundred bucks and I would pay this. I'm not paying yes. two hundred bucks again for that. That's true. That is true. Do I regret owning this bottle once? Not at all. No. But I buy two of this bottle. Yeah. I buy two of this. Exactly. That. If I see this again and yeah. actually I think my dad has a lineup. For another one of these, pop Woo! I might get another one. Papa Terry, come to the rescue. Yeah, the old that old granddad's good, real good. Yeah, but well, uh, it's going this has been a taste test Tuesday. As always, we're your hosts, Mike Fernusco, Rockstar Johnny, and I. See you next time. Top guys out.